Welcome to Ask Sean, where I explore all sorts of questions about life, relationships, and being human. I'm Sean Slevin, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you have a question for me, you can submit that anonymously at askshawn.org. So today I was, I was thinking, actually, as I was driving back from my riding lesson, my horseback riding lesson, about uh, an Instagram post this morning um, from someone I follow where they are... They're letting folks know that they are closing down their small business. And they were sharing kind of some of just their journey with that and kind of how they came to that decision. And of course, you know, there's disappointment and sadness there. Um, but I was really struck by, and I, and I posted a little, you know, kind of note comment to them to this effect that I was struck by how it, um, it takes courage to end something. It takes courage to, to know when to quit. Uh, it takes wisdom to know when to quit, um, but it takes courage to actually do the quitting, uh, to, to do the stopping, um, to step away from something, just as much as it takes courage to start something, because uh, they're both risks. Uh, in both cases, we are risking, um, yeah, feeling uncomfortable things, um, we're risking um, the unexpected, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, there's just risk in all, all sorts of different ways. Uh, and so, yeah, I've just been thinking about this principle, kind of, it's been kind of bouncing around in the back of my mind as I was <laughs> bouncing around a bit in the saddle today. Um, um, I've been, I'm, I haven't gotten to ride quite as much as usual. And um, yeah, this was, it was, this was very much a leg day uh, in terms of like, kind of trying to get some of my strength back and uh, refining some of my skill. And actually this principle that I'm talking about kind of came up even with my lesson. Towards the end of the lesson, there was the option to do some jumping and and I probably could have and been fine, but I was I was also aware of just like, I'm tired and um, I don't need to push it, you know? Like it, um, uh, you know, if my life depended on it, I could have done it, right? But like my life doesn't depend on it. It's a lesson. Um, and so we just, we just did some more kind of just muscle building, skill building, you know, fundamentals work with the, the, the remainder of the lesson. And I think that was the right call. Um, but it's, again, it was like, you know, kind of knowing when to like, where to draw that line. And, um, but yeah, so I don't know, just thinking about this principle of like, that it takes courage to know when to quit. Uh, and I, I've had many things in my life over the years um, where, yeah, and walking away from something was really hard. Um, you know, that can be choosing to end a relationship. Um, and I say this as someone who values relationships and values people, right? And I work hard to help people to reconcile. Um, uh, but there are times and places where, um, yeah, where the healthy thing is, I, I need to step away. Like kind of continuing on something is not, uh, in, in some cases relationally is, is not, uh, a, not a move towards greater health. Um, now there's a ton of complexity in that, um, like more than I'm going to go into here. Um, so there's a, there's millions of questions, uh, one could have in, in particular situations. So, you know, please don't take this as some sort of just like across the board, just in the relationship kind of thing. Um, but just saying that there is a there is an a, time, a time and place where sometimes that's the, the healthy decision and that's hard and that takes courage and it's risky and it's messy. Um, sometimes ending a business, you know, like this this, uh, this person on Instagram is talking about um, or walking away from a business situation, um, which I have also done um, or walking away from like an organization type context or like a ministry. Uh, there was a ministry I was a part of in college that, that I was the, had become the leader of. And there was a point where it's like, I think we need to, I think we need to let this die. Um, there wasn't going to be, there was no leadership kind of arising for kind of carrying it on past my graduation. And I was like, I don't feel good about our continuing to, like act as though there's going to be an organization when there's, you know, when there's not like, we're not, we don't have the people to, to, to lead this. And, um, and in the Christian faith, you know, the resurrection is a huge, it's fundamental. And so it was like, 
you know, we need to we need to practice what we say we believe and believe that God can bring this back from the dead if, you know, if that's what he wants to do. Um, you know, there can be other people raise up. And actually that happened with that ministry um, several years later after it kind of, you know, was in the grave, if you will, for a while. Um, it did raise up and, and um, come back to life in and, and good ways. But I and I think so I think that was the better thing than trying to hold on to it and like uh, and pretend like it could be something that it didn't have the it couldn't we just didn't have the people power to for it to to be healthy. Um, so there's all sorts of different reasons why we might need to end something, why might why we might need to quit, why we might need to walk away from something. Uh, but that takes courage. It takes wisdom to kind of discern. Is that what I need to do? Um uh, but it takes courage. And I, so that's, I guess that's the, the theme I guess I wanted to highlight is just, um, you know, it takes courage to start things. Absolutely. And that's, you know, we could do, you know, <laughs> many videos on that. But also it takes courage to, to know when to end or to stop or to walk away or to take a break or whatever the thing may be. Um uh, whether that's you know, taking a break from, you know, exercising or um, taking a break from, you know, something else. Um, but yeah, so I just, yeah, I would encourage y'all to, to be thinking about not just the places where, you know, where do I need to take risks and step out into the world, but where are the places where, in a healthy way, in a wise way, um, actually it's time to, time to step away from something, whether, whether for the moment or, or perhaps indefinitely, um, and to trust that, um, to trust, you know, your courage in that and to trust that the things that are meant to come back alive can and will. Um, and, you know, not everything depends on us, thankfully. And um, so, yeah, yeah, be brave. <laughs> uh, and whatever the things are, whatever those decisions might be in your life right now. So well, until next time, peace be with you. Mm -hmm.